everybody. I'm in Eastern Washington today and I'm by Vantage. I'm at the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park and um, I've come just a little bit from the visitor center over here down the Rocky Cooley area to find this trailhead. Uh, the park is right along the banks of the Columbia River and um, there is a Says Phoebe over here singing. We're looking to the west now. There is a lower road and an upper trail. I'm going to follow the upper trail. Not sure how far I'm going to go. Probably at least a couple miles, two, three miles out. Should be wonderful for wildflowers and beautiful views. So as I'm getting started here, it's about 8.15 and it's 45 degrees. I came over yesterday afternoon from western Washington across the mountains and when I got here it was extremely windy. Uh, so I was going to do a little exploring around but um, I just drove around a little bit and um, this morning it's very calm and so I'm looking forward to a great hike. I think the park has over 7,000 acres here along the river. and. There's some other wilderness areas also along the river here and back up the hillsides. And um, usually Steve and I have visited just um, down at the visitor center, checked out the petrified wood. There's also a place you can drive to up the road a bit where they have some examples of the petrified wood still in place. But today I'm going to be doing this hike that's going to give us an overview of the hillside here. And one thing that would be fun to see would be some bighorn sheep. They are sometimes found in this area. As we're going along here, the trail is a bit rocky, but really easy to follow. It's an old tractor truck road, and you can kind of see how we're going to go forward a little bit and curve off to the left, go over the hillside there. I like that the trail is wide here. I always have to keep an eye out for snakes, even though it's maybe too cool for them. You never know when they might be coming out to get a little warmth. Uh, this gives plenty of space um, to look for them. Some of the trails are just single track through the brush, and um, you never know if a snake could be right under the brush there. Here are some fresh tracks, maybe from this morning. We're looking back now from where we came. 
basically looking south, a little southeast. You can start to see the Wanapum Dam. Just past that is the Beverly Bridge, which is um, the old railroad bridge, now part of the Palouse Cascades State Park Trail. These are a different kind of the balsam root. I believe they're the hooker's balsam root, but I'll double check. And lower it was the arrow root. There's quite a lot of them. We're gonna turn a little bit to the right here, get a little closer to the river. And we are able to see across the river already. You can see just a little bit of the river there in the middle and across below the crest of the mountains. You probably see the traffic going left and right. We've almost reached the end of this point here. We're gonna be able to look up and down the river. We have an amazing viewpoint here of the river and the other side where Frenchman Cooley is and the road leading down to the river, the boat launch there. Turning to the right a little bit, we're seeing I-90 in the Frenchman Hills. So my GPS measured that at 2.3 miles to get out here, but it stopped and started a few times. So I'm gonna guess it was at least three miles one way. So I'm gonna head back the way that I came and um, get a good uh, mileage reading. There's an alternate way to go kind of parallel to the bluffs and um, work your way kind of in a loop back to the um, trailhead, back to Rocky um, Cooley, but part of it is on private land and so I feel more comfortable just going the way that I came out and um, yeah the breeze is picking up just a little bit but it feels really fresh and I'm hoping to still see some bigger wildlife on the way back maybe a few more birds and just enjoy the day so um, I'll give you one more look at the river before we leave
We're joining back up with the main trail now. I'm kind of scanning the hillside, kind of looking far to see if I can see any of the um, bighorn sheep or maybe deer. Well, thanks for joining me on that hike. I really enjoyed it. Nice wide open views, lots of wildflowers. Uh, the weather cooperated. Yesterday it was so windy and today it was nice and calm. I didn't happen to see any of the big animals that I was hoping for, but right at the end here I've seen two marmots playing. Uh, under the road there's a rocky section that they love and they're kind of growling at each other so that caught my attention. So um, anyway, it's a beautiful day here in eastern Washington. I hope it's uh, lovely where you are. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon.